Hi, this is Melinda with Melinda Howard Art. I made a video earlier on how to create these ceramic tile coasters using alcohol ink and Sakura Microperm pens. So today I'm going to show you how I protect them with varnish, UV resistant spray, and a clear coat of epoxy resin. And then I will finish them off with a metallic marker on the edges and cork adhesive on the back. There may be a lot of steps to these coasters, but it is fun and really rewarding once they're finished. I hope you will enjoy this as much as I do. It's a beautiful and perfect February day here in Central Florida. To use the Krylon Kmar varnish and the UV resistant spray, the temperature needs to be between 55 and 75, and the humidity also needs to be low. That is a rare occasion here in these parts. So I'm going to take advantage of these perfect conditions to finish my coasters and some other alcohol ink artwork. Okay, so now that I have protected ceramic coasters with the Kmar varnish and the Gufi protectant, now I'm going to cover them with the art resin. You know, these are, they're pretty decorative, but they can also be used for actual coasters. I have one here, it's, it was a practice one. I painted on it and did some doodling on it and it's not really one I would ever sell. I've tested it out myself and it works fine with a hot cup of coffee on it. It doesn't melt or stick or anything. It just works great. So I'm just going to stick with the art resin. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I'll be using. I'll be using tape. Just let it hang down like this and when the resin drips it will just drip here on the edge and it, it won't roll back up or anything and it keeps the back clean 
from the resin without having to tape the entire back. So I'm going to tape each tile Okay, so I'm just going to rub it really good, make sure that it's sealed really, really well. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, I use these solo cups, and it just feels really sturdy. It's easier to level. By the way, I don't use a regular level. I use an app on my phone. Um, it's called Bubble Level. It's really easy to use, and I prefer using that to... To just a regular level that sometimes it's just really hard to tell if it's good and level with with a normal one to me I might stick a little bit of of just regular paper towel underneath I'll double it triple it whatever it takes to make it level and then if I don't need it I don't need it but the resin is self leveling and it will slide on one side if you're coaster isn't completely level. I got these tongue depressor things on Amazon that I used to stir and I used to move it around. So that's what those are for. I also got these disposable measuring cups on Amazon because so I've tried several different ways. I tried scale to measure each part. That ended up not being correct one or two times. So you're supposed to measure by volume and not by weight. So I got these disposable cups. They're not super expensive at all on Amazon and you can reuse them if you want. I recommend these. I'm going to tape all of my pieces and then level them and I'll be back. Okay, so I have these all taped. I have used the level to make sure they're all level. Um, I had to add a couple of paper towels underneath just to make sure that they were good and level. I also did want to say I've got some wax paper underneath these paper towels. I just want to protect my work surface. I used the calculator on artresin.com to tell me how much I need to use. These are 4 inches by 4 inches and so it's 16 inches by 8 inches and the calculator told me I needed to use four ounces of the art resin. That is including both parts. So it'd be two ounces of the hardener and two ounces of the resin. So I'm going to measure that out. I'll be right back. All right, so now I have measured both parts and I am stirring it for three minutes. And make sure that you scrape the sides periodically and so you get every bit stirred in. It's very important. Okay, I've stirred this for three minutes and then some a little bit. Just wanted to make sure. As you see, it's got a lot of bubbles, but that's going to be okay. Um, as soon as I get done leveling everything, getting everything on, I will use this little handy dandy torch that came with my art resin kit. I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle of each one and then I'll go back and add a little more as I know how much I have. Sometimes it's 
easier just to move it with your fingers. Okay, I'll be able to tell even more after I use my torch. And I'm just going to do a really fast pass over each one. Don't stay in one space at all for more than a millisecond <laughs> or it will start burning. This is just to pop all the bubbles to bring them to the top and then pop them. And now I'm just going to give it a quick check. I do spot there. You just kind of have to move around and look at the light. Make sure everything is covered on the edges. There we go. I'm going to give it one more close look. So now I'm just looking at everything in the light, making sure that I don't have any little pits or bugs or dust or bubbles. And they all look pretty good. So now I've covered these with a bucket, um, just a plastic storage container. I'm resting them on some tiles that I messed up on before. As you can see, I've messed up several so that it's up high enough to not touch the tiles, but um, it will still protect them. I will see you in 24 hours and we'll see how they turned out. Okay, so it has been 24 hours. The coasters have been sitting under this bucket for that whole time. Um, just wanted to make sure that everything looks good. All right, so they look great. It's, it's dry, looks awesome. See how the drips come down and stop at the bottom of the tape? So you don't have to cover the entire bottom of your tiles. I'm gonna take off this tape. And I will be using Sharpie or some kind of metallic marker, um, a paint marker on the edges. I'm gonna show you what I use on the back and how I do the sides and get one finished so you can see the final look. Okay, so I've decided to go with metallic gold sharpie for the edges of these orange and yellow coasters and I don't have a silver one so I'm just going to use this Master's Touch alcohol marker um, in metallic silver for the blue and green ones and since they're both alcohol based they won't have any problems if water drips on the edges when being used as a coaster. So all I do is color in the edges, simple as that. I will say it will wear out your marker because this edge is really rough cut. If it's a marker you want to keep, I wouldn't use it.
All right, so now I'm gonna put on the bottom cork. I just got these on Amazon and they, they fit perfectly and they are um, adhesive, so it's super easy. I'll put a link to them in the description box if you're interested in finding these for your coasters. Do you make coasters? If so, how do you protect them? What kind of epoxy resin do you use? Leave a comment below with any tips you may have. I would love it if you would hit the like button and subscribe, especially if it's been helpful. And click the bell to be notified when I add more videos. Thank you!